Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my review for the very first episode of a new TV series which is on the CW. Given my thoughts on the trailers thus far, this one we're going to be reviewing the pilot for the new iZombie TV series. Okay, so finally got a chance to check out the pilot and, uh, you know, decide, you know what, I'll just review it. Why not? At least the pilot. I may not, you know, I may not continue with it and do any more reviews for the series, but why not review the pilot? Uh, review the trailer. If you guys saw that, you know, kind of what my expectations were going in to seeing, you know, iZombie. They were not very high. <laughs> let's just say that. Uh, here, let's read, let, let, let's read the synopsis or the uh, the description for the pilot episode to give you guys some idea, those of you who weren't subscribed at that time who didn't see those videos. Uh, pilot. Uh, so this is, the, this is the synopsis. Having been transformed into a zombie during a boat party, because you know that's how most boat parties go, everybody turn, gets turned into a zombie, uh, and forced to give up on her dreams and family ties, Liv Moore, they, they, yeah, the main character's name is Liv, okay, um, <laughs> Liv Moore finds herself assisting rookie detective Cly Clive Barbino in the investigation of a murdered Romanian prostitute when her boss, Ravi, um, just, I just love the names, uh, introduces her as a psychic uh, after she has a flash of insight about the victim based on the consumed brains. Meanwhile, Liv struggles to keep her undead existence a secret from her roommate, Peyton, as well as her former fiancé, Major. So, <laughs> give you a rundown. She's a zombie. She gets turned into a zombie at a boat party. In this universe, zombies can think. They can speak. Uh, you know, they can kind of, th these type of zombies can kind of go on, do their thing, but they don't feel much of anything, basically. And they can't eat regular food. Um, they have to eat brains. You know, you remember the 80s movies, like the 80s, uh, you know, zombie movies with brains, where they'd have to, you know, they brains, and they'd have to eat brains, right? Uh, some of the silly spoofs and stuff there was, uh, you know, uh, was it Revenge of the Living Dead or something, you know, something I don't even remember at this point, to be honest, it's totally forgettable. Uh, you know, so it's kind of that silly type of genre. So she works... Uh, at the morgue, and uh, there she can get her, you know, fresh supply supply of brains, of course, because when they're, you know, they're taking the bodies and they're doing whatever they have to do, uh, you know, their their uh, inspections of them and everything, and find cause of death and all that good stuff. Uh, the brains and, and some other tissues and things like that are, are often removed. So she consumes brains from the, uh, you know, the dead uh, people that come through, and. It gives her enough for her to to continue to live. Uh, live, we're talking about here. Uh, so yeah, so there it is. Now, when she ingests the brains, she uh, she she gets some of their memory as well too, or at least a part of their personality, like a part of their brain that she eats. She'll get a part of her personality. So she eats that of an artist. She'll find herself later on, you know, really enjoying art, being very gifted at at drawing and art, being able to paint or draw or do whatever whatever she's, you know, the traits she takes on the traits and the memory of the brains of which she has consumed. She gets these flashes of what happened to them a lot of times as they were being killed or just before or prior. So with that, she can go ahead and help uh, Detective Clive uh, to, you know, solve crime and uh, you know find uh, you know murderers and things like that because she can get these these glimpses from the brains of. Uh, what happened to the person. So there it is. <laughs> there's there's the story. So that's at least for the premiere. After that, uh, you know, there's the four episodes so far. Uh, apparently she meets another another zombie, uh, you know, a male who uh, is seemingly the one who, who uh, is responsible for her turning at, at the party. And, you know, he's kind of, at least so far, he seems like he'll probably be our bad guy zombie. And, and they have this zombie mode they can go into where... Um, they, you know, if they get shot or something, so if Liv gets shot, she'll be able to survive it. Because she's a zombie. She's not real anyway, right? She's not alive anyway. Even if she gets shot in the heart, uh, she'll still be okay. She'll be able to survive on. And when she goes into the zombie mode, it's like Super Saiyan. Her her eyes, uh, they light up zombie style, and she becomes, like, dead. And, and she can, you know, she's she seems to be stronger than, you know, than regular version. And, you know, she's basically, uh, she you know, you could still kill, you could still kill them, I would guess, but you would have to shoot them in the head, I would think, right? 
you'd have to shoot her and, and destroy the brain. So she's zombie. She, she goes into zombie mode. So, um, yeah, so after seeing it, you know, going in with such low expectations, I actually was, was pleasantly surprised by it. I did think it was some fun. It, it's silly, of course. You have to kind of be into that genre. Uh, it's based on a comic book, uh, and it's got these really cool transitions they use in the pilot as well as some of the other episodes where they'll show like a panel from a comic, or at least I, I think it's from the comic, or they've drawn it in, and then it transitions into the live action version and back and forth, and they do it quite a bit. Uh, so it is some fun, you know. Uh, it, it is some fun. In terms of score, I'm going to actually give this one higher than I thought it was going to. I'm going to give it a 7.8 uh, out of 10, uh, 6.5 being average. So it is some fun. It is above average, I would say. Uh, but you got to be into that kind of silly uh, genre. If you liked, uh, you know, um, uh, it was a zombie land uh, or... Um, you know, these kind of silly spoof, you know, those 80s zombie movies where they request they need brains. They don't just want to eat regular flesh. They want brains. Uh, you know, uh, then check it out. You know, I mean, it's it's one of the CW shows. So you guys know how those go. They make like a bazillion episodes. And, uh, you know, they, they you know, I'm not sure how many of the first season of this one's going to have, but I've seen like the Flash and Arrow. They got like 23 episodes. It's like, wow, you know, you miss like you just can't get caught up with this stuff. There's so much stuff going on in so many episodes and they 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 just turn them out like, a, you know, like a, like a factory, just just episode factory. Uh, sometimes the quality is not always the best, but this one's some fun. Check it out if you like zombies, you like that kind of style. And that's all I got to say about uh, iZombie. It's it's fun. It's better than I thought it was going to be. And uh, I kind of like that. So it's nice to see that kind of ridiculous type style um, with the comic book mixed in and kind of that, uh, you know, that, that just kind of unique style it, that it, it has. Um, it is some fun. So let me know what you guys thought if you got a chance to check it out. If you haven't, uh, I don't know if I can recommend it, but I'd say if you're interested and, and you like that, you like, you know, what I've described here, then go ahead and check it out. If you like this uh, review, do me a solid. Go ahead and click the like below. would appreciate it. If you want to help support the channel, you want to share it, you want to favorite it, also would appreciate it. And that's it for this video for you guys. I will see you for another. As always, it's Trev. Same piece. Uh.